This video will outline a project that will describe the components that will be used to build a low power QRP transceiver. And we're going to be using GNU Radio, the TRX Duo, SDR, and other related components. The frequency of operation will be from 3.5 to 30 megahertz. Sufficient detail will be provided so that others can replicate this project if desired. All related videos will be in a playlist named GNU Radio TRX Duo Low Power Transmitter and Receiver. I would consider this to be an advanced hobbyist project. We will begin by taking a look at a block diagram of the system. And uh, we can see in the picture here that we have the PC microphone pictured first. And I ended up choosing this particular microphone, I will put the links in the description, but if you notice, there's a little button down here that you can touch to turn this thing on or off. The next item that we're going to look at in the system is GNU Radio. So let's open it up and I have an example here of what's known as a flow graph. And I want to uh, especially thank Dr. SDR for creating this flow graph. I will be using this as a starting point and adding to it. So this is the, the real magic of this entire system. The PC mic that I just showed you is the audio source. And there's a number of things happening in the middle. We'll discuss that later. But uh, the output here, the thing that's called an Osmocom sync, this is actually the TRX Duo SDR. We will be using the TRX Duo SDR and uh, I will put a link to where I purchased mine in the description. And this is what the TRX Duo looks like. It, it has two inputs and two outputs. Uh, in other words, two uh, ways to, you can transmit and two that you can receive. I should al also mention that this is a red Pattaya clone. The next thing that we're going to need is a 30 megahertz low pass filter. And I'm going to be including in future videos the output of the TRX Duo SDR. I'll show the output on my spectrum analyzer. And once I show you that, you will understand why we need to have the 30 megahertz low pass filter. At the time that I'm making this video, the low pass filter that I am using, the source, uh, well, this particular filter is no longer available. I'm showing you one on eBay here, but it's 200 watts. And so I will be searching for a QRP, in other words, very low power, a uh, low pass filter that uh, we will be using for the project. And I will put that link in the description. We will now discuss the two watt power amp. And I purchased this off of uh, Amazon. And here it is. I will put the link in the description. Also, uh, do note that when you buy these things from China, 
The documentation is scarce at best, and so this is designed to run on 12 volts. You will need to use a little uh, muffin fan to keep it cool, and I will show you in subsequent videos me uh, using my tracking generator on my uh, spectrum analyzer, and I will sweep all the frequencies of interest. And in doing so, you're going to be able to see what the gain looks like. Uh, again, that's uh, up to 30 megahertz. Now, there's one other additional thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a two-tone amplifier test and we're going to uh, test this we're going to look at, at at it on the spectrum analyzer and i'm doing this in a very very unique way there are a number of youtube videos out there that do show you how to perform a two-tone test of your amplifier, but this will be a novel way of doing that. So stay tuned. And again, all related videos are going to be in the same playlist. And here we are, the last block of the transmitter section. And this is a band selectable low pass filter. And uh, we will, again, have subsequent videos that will show the output of the filter and uh, show that on the spectrum analyzer. So, as fate would have it, my current uh, band selectable low-pass filter that's low power is no longer available. If you're viewing this video, and you have a, another source, please post it in the comments. And this concludes the transmitter side of the system. And the next thing that we're going to do is explore this uh, coax relay and the receiver. We will now look at the coax relay. So the coax relay basically is going to allow us to use one antenna and be able to both transmit and receive. In normal mode of operation, the antenna will be connected to the receiver. I will be writing some software in Python that will be in the GNU radio flow graph that will serve as a push to talk. And uh, I should also mention that it will also select the band, the proper band in the low pass filter that connects to the coax relay. But basically the coax relay then will switch the antenna to the transmitter. I do have the source where this particular coax relay was purchased. With uh, many of the things in this project, there's sometimes availability issues. So if you're watching this video and have uh, uh, alternate sources for the coax relay, by all means, please include them in the comments. The receiver is pretty simple. I'll be using an AirSpy HF Plus Discovery SDR, and uh, you should note that there's a new model of this thing out. Uh, take a look at that. I'll put the link in the description, but uh, this thing Here's a, a picture of it, and let's take a brief look at some specs here. The spec I want to bring to your attention more than anything else is the sensitivity, 
and look at that. That's a minus 140 dBm item that we're going to look at in the receiver is the SDR++ software. This is open source and runs on many different platforms. And if you've not used that before, here's a, a screenshot of what it looks like. Stay tuned because in the future, I will be putting out a definitive guide to how to use the SDR++ software. The last block in our system is the antenna block. And the, there, there are many different antenna options. And you can either make a homebrew antenna or you can purchase antennas. In a later video in this series, we will explore some various antennas, both ones you can purchase and ones that you can homebrew that will work well with this project. Stay tuned for subsequent project videos. If you would like to join me in exploring the exciting world of SDRs, please consider subscribing and liking my videos. This is Paul, the SDR guy, and thank you for watching.